Hey guys, thank you for watching my video and welcome to DIY art blogs today. So uh, I didn't get time to post this video last week so uh, because I was working on my floor here. So uh, it was just a plain wood uh, floor here and I just painted with the paint and also I used a stencil to design this area a little bit and um, this is how it turned out. This took me at least like a three days because I was also working. So yeah, so here. So I really like how it turned out. I also did uh, in my closet right here, so. And this is how it looks like before I paint it. So these are the material that I use to paint my floor. Tape roller. And this paint, it's good for porch and any patio floor. And the last coat is pore acrylic and it's good. It's a wood water base. And this is a black paint. All right, so again, I'm just gonna show you before picture how it looks like before I paint it. So here, I'm just cleaning every small area with just a rag and uh, some vinegar, water, and some soap. Alright, and uh, to be honest guys, uh, this is not the right way to peel off that extra paint from the, the windows frame and uh, but I'm using just a knife here and just kind of peeling off everything. And I didn't show the sanding part here but yes, I also sand this area a little bit using a sandpaper. The paint I'm using here is that doesn't require sanding the floor my wood so that's why i'm not sanding my floor here but that's also a good option if you want to sand your floor first before you start painting so here i am just starting taping everything all the edges here so now it's a fun time of painting all right so here i'm just using paint brush and uh, white paint to do my first layer and I'm painting just the edges for now and I'm covering maybe four to five inches from on the edges. And I'm also doing the same thing in my closet here, but if you see, I didn't cover my wood frame or the lining uh, with the tape because I also wanted to the paint that area with the white because I didn't like the yellow there so so before I start with the roller I wanted to do one more layer there uh, on the edges and this time I'm really working on that lining that's there uh, to fill that area too also with the paint in it so I'm really taking my time here and uh, doing my second layer. So here I started using my roller and I'm just covering all other area in the middle. So I'm done with my first layer and this is how it looks like with the first layer and I'm thinking of doing the second layer after that I mean after everything's dry
just showing the progress here and this paint trust me it dries so quickly just another tip that um, whenever you are done I'm just uh, using a ziplock here and putting my roller inside my ziplock and I just put it in the refrigerator for um, for the next time use so again I'm just doing my second layer and I'm going between my wood space and filling the space with second layer and more some some more paint so this took me about like a one hour to do it to be honest uh, still it's not a big area but still took me very long time to do this part and then here I'm using this ruler to smooth out all the brush strokes So the third layer is not necessary but here yeah, I'm still doing my third layer because I feel like I need to. Alright so my third layer is also now dry. It looks very neat and pretty and if you see that I also tape the edges one more time. Uh, I would leave maybe a couple inches. From the edge and tape one more time on that area so that I can add some design there so I already did some of this uh, stencil already but uh, this is how it looks like and I'm just working on the middle area first and then I'll do the edges at the end so uh, I also leave uh, I, if you see I use a newspaper on the edges of my stencil just to leave an equal space between my stencil so that it looks even and I'm using a sponge here to uh, create this design I think that was uh, pretty easy using a sponge and uh, yes guys you have to clean your stencil maybe every 10 or 15 design you do and mine was very easy it was just very easily peeling off so this is how it looks like after i'm all done and i'm also started peeling off my tape here <laughs> so this black paint doesn't really take too long to dry it only take about like a maybe one hour to dry and this is my favorite part is peeling off the paint my husband is helping me for this part because it's easy and uh, if you see after I peel off that tape that was a couple inches space that I leave earlier and uh, I'm using this a very thin line stencil that I have and again I'm just using a sponge and uh, adding this design This is how it looks like and i already did this uh corner here first all right so now it's a touch up time so uh wherever i see little black dots um i'm just adding a maybe a little touch of white on top and uh after everything's dry i just let it dry for one whole day and then i'm applying a polyacrylic poly acrylic and um I'm just doing my first layer here but to be honest I did three layers here so my first layer didn't turn out uh, that good so I have to switch to my smaller roller and that's what I use to do my second and third layer. Hey guys! Thank you for watching my video and welcome to DIY Art Blast today. So uh, I didn't get time to post this. If you guys really like my floor and my video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of my DIYs and my paintings. Thank you for watching. Bye.